Let's get ready to rumble. Jab, cross. Jab, cross. Hook, hook. Hook, hook. Jab, cross. Jab, cross. Hook, hook. Hook, hook. Up Okay, so the object of this game is to hit those objects you see whoop, coming towards you. When you see those other things coming towards you, you've got to dodge. Now, if you hit those objects, smack on the white circle, and hit them hard and follow through, you'll get a higher score. If you've got good boxing technique, I'm afraid you're going to have to adjust it somewhat to make it a lot wider. Otherwise, your score isn't going to be, whoa, slip. Your score isn't going to be uh, replicated or, or reflected on screen. That said, this game isn't about improving your boxing ability. It's really about pushing you with a little bit of cardio. How effective is that? Well, in my opinion, it's not too bad. So if you've been one of those days where you really don't fancy getting out there and you want to have a, a bit of fun, because this really is a lot of fun in your workout, then this is not a bad substitution. Now, there are loads of workouts, times, efforts, intensity levels that come with this particular game. So you can work out for a couple of minutes or you can exercise for upwards of 45, 50 minutes. It's massive. Now with these ones that you see coming towards you with the circles, that's the direction in which you're hitting. Just a bit more of a clue. And it's a little bit hit and miss. You have to hit the, head, hit the thing just a, a little way out in front of you. Um, not quite the same as when you're boxing. Also, you can adjust the position of the controllers that you're holding so that the glove fits better on your hand. Again, that makes a difference to the accuracy when, you, when you're hitting. On screen as well, if you look towards the left-hand side, you can see 66, 67, 71, etc. That's the number of combos I've managed to hit without missing something. Below that, you've got the score, the accumulated score. To the left hand, to the right-hand side, I should say, well, and then just as that coming up now, you can see a block. Hey, there you go. On the right-hand side, you've got the, the time, the countdown on the time. So this is probably a 10 and a half minute workout. And below that, you've got the number of calories. I'd take those calories with a huge pinch of salt. Um, that's not really what you're losing, believe me. I've tried this with a heart rate monitor and it doesn't correlate too well. So anyway, as I said, this is a, a lot of fun and it's very addictive. I find myself, when I've been using it on a couple of three occasions now, to have Oh, I've been staying on it far too long. Big pools of sweat. Um, it's just huge fun, as I said. Is this the future of fitness? In my opinion, no, not totally, by any means. I think it's a great addition. It's an alternative. It's a way of having fun. It's a way of having a different experience. But you really can't be getting out there into the real world, into nature, and doing what I do and what you do. I think, you know, for, for everything, there's a balance. So there you have it, folks. Should you shell out three, four hundred pounds just to get this for fitness? No. But if you want to get this as part of other entertainment that you want to do virtually, then I say yes, it's a pretty good purchase. And thrown in on top of that, you've got an alternative to your fitness. So there we have it. Hope you're well, take care and keep on moving. Cheers.